So antibiotic resistance. Oh, this is something that I have nightmares about. Um, you should too, because bacteria are trying to take over the world. And uh, we got to be prepared for them. But we're not spending money on antibiotics. So this is my lesson to you to always finish your antibiotics when you get them. Never, ever, 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 ever just stop taking them because you feel better because you are contributing to the end of the world. It's a little dramatic, but you'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. So here's my graphic for antibiotic resistance. And you'll notice that our starting population up at the top there, where you see various shades of yellow, pink, and red, um, those are bacteria that have all sorts of resistance levels from really low to really high resistance levels to some sort of antibiotic, whatever antibiotic that we're using to try to kill them. Penicillin, ampicillin, who knows? So after selection, You'll notice that only the bacteria, so what that means is something happened, the environment changed, mainly we put very toxic chemicals into our bodies that are trying to kill or decimate this entire population, okay? So the only ones that remain are the ones that have a really high resistance to this bacteria, okay? The problem is, now those are the ones that are surviving and reproducing, right? Classic natural selection example, except we are forcing them to do this because um, we're allowing them by killing off all of their weak brethren. And the only ones left are the ones that can already fend off from that antibiotic. Okay. So our final population is a really, really strong population of bacteria that already have some sort of antibiotic resistance. So this comes up on every single AP examination that I have seen. Um, because it's just, it's evolution happening at rapid speed. Okay. The reason that antibiotic resistance happens so fast is because bacteria replicate, the fastest bacteria replicate once every 20 minutes. Okay, So if you have a starting population of one, then you have two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. Whew, it goes up really, really fast, really, really quickly, um, exponentially, you could say. Um, and so they're able to pass on new traits much more quickly than we do, which is like kids per the average one person. So yes, Rosemary, take your antibiotics, take all of them, because if you only take like eight of your 10-day antibiotics, the bacteria that are remaining that could um, survive are going to be the ones that are the strongest, like these pink and red ones that you see. And therefore, you could pass those on to someone else, and then they try to take an antibiotic, and it doesn't work. Um, it's a huge problem right now, which is another reason why AP focuses on it a lot, because they really, really like to focus one free response question um, a year on a current event. So that's something to inspire you to read like New York Times Science or a different science publication that you like. I'm a big New York Times Science fan, um, but the AP exam will always have one, usually a long free response question, which is like 30% of your free response grade on something that is currently happening in the science community. So get out there and read the news. All right, it looks like, I'll wrap it up um, there. It looks like we're all on the same same trend, which is awesome. So C is gonna be the right answer here. Um, and it's something that students mess up all the time. So you can go back into your classroom and be a champion at um, talking about natural selection um, in knowing that, read the hint again, environmental factors are never going to create traits, okay? So this is for some reason another thing that students think all the time, they're like, Oh, the bacteria are adapting to the antibiotic, right? They're just like getting stronger. And that's just not true, right? If I, if we got doused with toxic chemicals, we wouldn't all of a sudden just adapt and not be hurt by those toxic chemicals unless we, you know, real quick put our heads together and went into a lab somewhere, right? But if we can't do it, if we can't all of a sudden change our body structure and what proteins we're making in order to fend off something, then bacteria, a single-celled organism with just a little strip of DNA, certainly cannot do that. 
Okay, so the only way that drug resistance spreads is by having knowing the answer is C, that some drug resistant bacteria were present at the start of treatment. Okay, so anytime you see something like that, that's always going to be the answer. And now you're a pro and we'll get all those questions right. All right. 